everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you what's in my tech bag, what I travel with, and all the gear that I carry. Now, it's been a while since I've made one of these, and the one I made a couple of years ago, there was a lot more heavy gear. And if you've seen my video on the decreasing gap between power and portability, you know that you can get a lot more powerful, more effective electronics, things that are going to shoot in higher resolutions, but come down to be smaller. So over the last year, I've been shrinking down all the gear that I carry in preparation for my next set of travels. This isn't always the best stuff. It isn't always the newest stuff, but it's the stuff that works for me and that fits all in this bag. So if we're talking about this bag, let's start with the backpack. That is the Air Travel Pack 2. This is the backpack I've been using for a few years. It's not perfect. There are some gripes that I have with it, mainly that it has a shoe compartment on the bottom and I don't really use that compartment so it just folds up underneath the backpack and I would rather it just be completely flat on the bottom. But it's big enough, but it's not too huge and it's got a lot of pockets and a huge empty pocket in the main compartment which makes it easier to pack up with all of my stuff. So starting off with the first thing, the main part I suppose in this back pocket right here is my laptop. I edit on the road. I work mainly off of this laptop. So this laptop is the main laptop I use, which is a 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019 with about two terabytes of storage to store videos and just so I can edit on the road. And the reason I use this larger screen is because I do use this pretty much every day. So I like having that screen real estate makes it easier to edit, makes it easier to just have more space on the screen. If I'm developing apps, just makes it easier to have all of that extra screen. And so I use the 16 inch MacBook Pro and then I keep it in this in case, which might not seem like a lot, but it saved my laptop from scratches, dings, and even worse from dropping it or getting marked up or, you know, just sort of thrown around in airport security. So I keep it in this in case sleeve at all times. Now going into the backpack. Oh, one other thing that I forgot is that I do travel with a mouse pad. I use this glorious gaming mouse pad and like I said, it makes it easier to just sort of scroll around with your mouse. If you're doing a lot of editing or things that require some precision with the mouse, then a mouse pad is a good thing to have. And this one is machine washable, so you can keep it clean. So now let's make our way into the main part of the backpack. As you know, I always zip up my backpack zippers on the top. There's a video on why you should do that. It just came out a couple of days ago. But if we're opening this all up, this is kind of how I have everything organized. So I use a lot of cases and pouches and starting off with the main pouch, the thing that I use the most is probably this Swiss gear toiletry kit. It's not made for cameras, but it's what I keep my camera gear in. So inside of this, you've got pockets and when you're going through airport security, it's just easy to pop this out because when I'm on the road, this is my main backpack that I use to go from point A to point B. But when I'm out actually filming, I use an Osprey Daylight Day Pack so I can pack in just the essentials that I need for that day. So I'm not going to take my laptop out. If I'm out shooting all day, I might not need my drone. So I'll usually just plop this in there and I've got a camera pouch, Mega Gear camera pouch for the camera, the Sony a7C, which I'm filming on now with the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter lens. This is a smaller camera than what I was using before, but it's full frame. I love the quality of the camera. The lens is, I guess, a little bit big compared to what you can get on the Sony a7C, but the quality is just great. And I love using this camera. So that goes in here. And then I've got a GoPro Hero 9. So I've got this GoPro Hero 9, which I also carry for action shots, or maybe like if I wanna show you the rig that I have here now. So if I wanna film, all the stuff in my backpack makes it really easy to have a second camera with me or when I'm traveling to just set this up in a corner somewhere and film myself or if I want to show you maybe I want to show you the a7c so having this camera comes in really handy I use it a lot more often than I did the hero 8 and that's because it's got this front facing screen which makes it easier to be able to frame myself when I'm shooting so that's a really nice touch all right so inside of this toiletry kit there are a couple of other things we got some extra microphone cables. Can never have enough of those. Plenty of those for audio connections in case one goes bad. I've got like two or three of them. And I also keep these little silica gel packs in pretty much everything. There's one in the backpack. There's one in pretty much most of these cases. There's one in the laptop compartment. 
And I recommend that you use one of these because they help keep down moisture. So when you get a new package, you know, when you buy something new, you usually find these inside the package and they say, don't eat, don't eat them. You can still use them. You can keep them sort of to lower the moisture, especially if you're going to humid places, or a lot of times I'll go from an air conditioned place to a really hot place outside, and then it'll cause condensation on your camera lens, for example, or your electronics, and then you've got to wait for all that condensation to go away. Then uh, these silica packs help prevent that kind of stuff and just keep the general humidity down inside. Now, also inside of here, I've got another pocket here, got the charger, for the a7c i've got two extra batteries so i've got a total of three batteries in the a7c and then also inside of there i've got an extra gopro battery just in case and i've got an air tag so i have two of these air tags one i keep with my camera gear one i keep in the backpack so that way i can track them in case i lose them or in case they wander off without me so they're just kind of handy to have. These are pretty recent additions. And then lastly, inside of this pocket, I've got this rugger case which holds some filters that I use. So I've got this polarizing filter, which works well for things like uh, electronics or shiny things, or maybe if I'm shooting the sky, things like that for glare. So I use this not too often, but it does come in handy from time to time. And then also I've got this Gobe ND filter, variable ND filter, which comes in really handy when I'm shooting outside. So it helps reduce sort of the bright conditions, but allows me to shoot at f2.8 so I can get some nice bokeh. So I use this a lot when I'm outside. And that's pretty much it for this case. Oh, and there is one other thing. So on my camera, I use a Peak Design wrist strap. So if I'm using my camera and it's in my hand, I always have the Peak Design wrist strap around it. What I like about the Peak Design wrist straps is that they have this locking mechanism that you can just easily undo it and then click it back in. And when you do that, you can switch it easily to this neck strap. So if I just wanna have my camera around me or let's say I'm vlogging and my camera's gonna be further out and I don't wanna have it on my wrist, like if I have it attached to a Joby tripod or something, I'll use this. So I'll click both sides of these to the camera and then I'll just wrap this around my arm so I can hold my camera out in front of me then in case I drop it or in case something happens, I always have this safety with me. So I always wanna make sure that I've got something connected to me and my camera, just in case I drop it. Which hasn't happened so far, knock on wood, but you never know. So moving on from there, I've got this Deity case for the Deity D3 microphone, which is the Deity D3 Pro that I use, which I'm recording on right now, which is up there. And uh, it comes in handy when I'm out vlogging, if I'm traveling, I'll have that on top of the camera and I'll use that as my main microphone. Also going further, I've got this case. I like cases, it makes it easier for airport security to take all this stuff out. This is where I have my Audio-Technica MT, MXT50 Bluetooth. So I use these for editing and uh, they're pretty big and bulky and I would rather not carry them but when I edit I like to have these and I can plug them in through a wire which makes it really easy to sort of coordinate or make it sync up with the audio so there's no lag that I'm hearing and also doesn't rely on battery power so I do travel with this headphone but it's not the main headphone that I use like when I'm on a plane and going on this is my case for the Aperture MC Lite which I use which I really like for a lot of reasons so I can use that as a portable light when I'm filming indoors when I'm talking just to the camera. So that's really nice. There are a couple of cool things this can do. In my pocket, I didn't mention phones, but I carry the iPhone 11. So I've got the iPhone 11. So what I like about this light is that I can connect it by Bluetooth. So I can control it completely through this app that they have. And the nice thing about it is, is it not just the brightness that I can adjust, I can also adjust the color. So if I go in here, I can lower the intensity, I can increase the intensity, but then I can, like I said, go in and change the colors, which comes in really handy when I'm doing tech videos and I need a little bit of different lighting on the background, so that's pretty cool. I end up using this one a lot when I'm shooting indoors and the camera is close to me just to get a little extra fill light. So I mentioned that I carry a mouse pad, which probably means I carry a mouse, which I do, and I use the Logitech Anywhere 2S mouse, so I use this as my main mouse. Now going on further, I've got inside of this flight path case, which I really like these cases. They use 
a faux leather so this is all a vegan build which is nice inside of this case which is made especially for the Mavic Mini 2. So this is the drone that I carry. I switched over from the Mavic Pro series when this came out because it can shoot in 4K. I really like the video that this shoots and I like that it is just so, so small. I also like the size, 249 grams, which means I don't have to register it in a lot of countries around the world. So that's my main drone. And I'm just gonna give a shout out to this case because it's just so compact. It's just so perfect for the size that the drone is and it also has this little pocket where you can keep things like extra remote control you know handles and cables and stuff so it's got this small little case up there so uh, i'll leave a link to this like all the other stuff down in the description if you want to check it out they also make a case for the remote uh, but i don't use that one which i probably probably should because the remote is pretty huge so the dji mavic mini 2 is so small but the, the remote is just huge and I wish the remote were like half this size. It would just make it so much more portable. But you got a drone, you got to carry the remote. And there you go. And I just keep it in this random GoPro case for now. And uh, lastly, charger inside of this main compartment. You can always use one of those. And then the microphone. So this is the microphone. This is the Audio-Technica 2100 Bluetooth, which I use USB-C. I'd recently switched this from the other Audio-Technica 2100 I was using, and mainly because this uses USB-C. So that means one less cable that I have to carry can plug directly into my MacBook Pro, and it's just a great overall sounding microphone. So I highly recommend, check that out if you're looking for a microphone. This is what I podcast with. So if you wanna check out the Fox Nomad podcast, also linked in the description below. All right, so moving out of this main compartment into the small compartment, just a couple of the Cables I carry USB-C, like I said, audio cable, a couple of extra ones of those. But I also carry this dongle because USB-C life from the MacBook Pro, you need a dongle. So it's got two USB ports. It's also got a SD card reader, which is pretty useful. And it's also got an HDMI cable. So if I want to plug in my laptop to a TV when I'm on the road or at home, that makes it really useful. And of course, another silica packet and one other thing I want to mention out of here is these porta pow data blockers so if you're traveling and you just plug in your phone into any old USB port or just to get some power you might be plugging into a port that you can't trust there could be things installed on that port so what this porta pow does is you plug it into the USB port and then you take your USB cable and plug it into here and that blocks data. So it's just gonna give you power that's gonna block any kind of malicious, anything that's running on a USB port. If you travel in airports or just plugging into all sorts of USB ports that you're not familiar with, these come in handy. So I carry two of those. So if I'm charging up my phone and I don't trust the USB port, I'll just plug it into that and use that first. So going into this quick grab pocket here, I use these travel pouches by Herschel. Those come in handy just to keep all my cables organized. And I'll just show you one that I recommend for traveling or just in general, especially if you have a MacBook Pro where you just have USB-C ports. Uh, these are these chiffon cable squids. And what they do is you've got this USB 3 port. You just take that, put a dongle on here, plug it into your laptop or a USB port. And then you've got micro USB, you've got an iPhone lightning connector, and then you've got USB-C. So you can plug in multiple things with just one USB port, which is kind of nice and convenient. So I carry two of those. Now for my headphones, I use these Bose QietComfort QC earbuds. They are larger than most earbuds that you find like the AirPods Pro or the Sony WF-1000XM4, but I love the sound quality and especially the noise cancellation. The noise canceling on these is just unreal. If you put these on a plane or in a room and it's just silent, you're just in a silent library. I really love it. They don't have the best battery life. It's about five and a half hours, not as long as the Sony's eight hours. And the case is kind of clunky and the earbuds themselves are kind of big, but I really, really like these earbuds. I use these a lot. And I love to use these when flying or just when I'm working in a noisy situation or when I just want to listen to some music. There you go, noise canceling, something I won't fly without. Just a couple more things. I know I said I was lightening up this year, trying to lighten how much stuff I carry, but uh, it's not it's not easy. So in here, I've got two things that I use pretty often. One is 
a notebook. So I take a lot of handwritten notes when I'm traveling, when I'm working, when I'm writing videos, whatever. I like handwriting a lot, but I also have the iPad Air. This is the Air 4, the latest Air. I use this to read a lot. I use this to watch videos when I'm on a flight and I've got an Apple Pencil as well if I want to take notes quickly when I'm just, you know, doing something, I want to jot something down. I've got the Apple Pencil here, color card there. Now, these are a few miscellaneous things that just take up a lot of space. So I've got a USB wireless charger. So I use this for wireless charging, all my things, a couple of uh, business cards, I never go without those. I use this Anchor 1300 milliamp hour portable battery. So I use this when I'm, like I said, when I'm on the go, when I just need to charge, when I'm just taking the things that I need, like my camera or like my drone, I use this. And what I like about the A7C and the Mavic Mini 2 is that I can charge those from a portable power bank I can just plug them into this. If I need some battery on the go quickly, I can use that. So I carry that. And then I also have three hard drives. So I've got two hard drives that I use mainly for videos. And then I've got one that I carry as a backup in case either of those two die. So I carry all of those with me on the road and they're color coordinated so I can tell them apart. So uh, there you go. And of course, my charger for my laptop. And uh, Aside from that, just a couple of other small things, small items, at least in this part. So a bunch of microfiber cloths that I have here and this thing which blows out dust from like your keyboard or your lens and it's way better than just going trying to like use your breath to clean a lens and get all that like moisture and spit on there. So these come in really handy. I really recommend these and I carry some eye clear cleaning solution to clean all my like my lenses my screens so I carry that and uh, that's pretty much the main stuff in the backpack that pretty much covers all the main gear that I cover in my backpack like I said when I'm out and about when I'm filming vlogging I go with the daylight I just pack in the things I need for me that's usually camera drone microphone and then everything else becomes sort of extra and just stays back now to do all of this I'm using a newer tripod so it's the name of the company is newer it's a newer n5c n55c tripod so i use that tripod it's carbon fiber i like it it's not too expensive but it is really light it's very versatile it can be folded and bended in all sorts of ways and i really like the, the basically the versatility of it and also how just it just looks pretty cool as well and then for a microphone stand, I use the Samson MK10 microphone stand. So that way, if I'm filming a video like this, I can get that microphone close, but still keep it out of frame. I carry both of those in this rugged case. And I also, inside of this case, have a Joby tripod. This is the main tripod that I use when I'm traveling. Like all this stuff, all that, the newer tripod and the microphone stand, they'll come with me when I'm on the road. But when I'm out and about, this is the tripod that I use. This is the one that's going to be with me in my day pack, not the other two. Typically, I won't bring those with me unless I know what I'm going to shoot. Or if I'm going to somewhere where I'm, I'm shooting for a specific purpose, then I might bring the larger tripod. But usually, I just bring this smaller Joby with me. And it's been pretty good. It's not, not ideal. It's not the greatest. It's kind of falling apart. And I probably need a new one because all the rubber is coming off on the sides. But it does come in pretty handy and it's a lot more portable than the other stuff and I just use the rugged cases because they've got some padding to them they can be tossed and thrown around and they've held up and turned out to be pretty durable overall and finally the last thing out of my pocket this is the wallet that I carry this is the Trove wallet so I use a Trove custom made wallet I like how slim this is and I like how portable it is and it takes up less space in my pocket and it also has two compartments for cards so you can carry about 10 cards in here and then if you open this up you've got another compartment which you can use for cash or receipts or those random notes that you end up you know picking up when you're traveling just that kind of stuff so i like the versatility of this wallet and i also like how customizable and colorful it is so there you go well that's all the stuff that i carry with me when i'm traveling it seems like a lot most people don't need this amount of stuff but this is all the stuff I need to keep Fox Nomad going, basically to make videos, to develop apps, to take pictures, write. All of that stuff happens with all of these things. It's basically a mobile office, so a mobile podcasting studio, a mobile video studio, mobile development studio, 
all of these things basically make all that possible. And uh, I'll link to all of these and I've reviewed most of these individually. So if you're curious about the details about any one of these products, I'll make sure I link to those in the description below. So if you wanna check those out or if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Let me know the things that you're carrying, whether or not you maybe carry lighter stuff, if you have any recommendations for me, but hopefully this gives you some ideas and gives you kind of an idea of what it's like to travel full time and just carry all your stuff with you. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. I'll have new videos for you every week and I will see you in the next video.